I'm Elise. Hi, welcome to Terrier Vision. Here with me, senior forward Khadija Joyner. Khadija, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Now it's March. March third is your last women's basketball SoCon tournament, and graduation is only less than a hundred days away. Is this setting in? Do you feel like you're a senior now? Well, it's 86 days away, and I'm counting down, but I'm really sad just because, like, this has been a great experience, and I just love the school and my basketball team and everybody here. Your first game opening season of your freshman year was at NC State, and you got your playing time that first game of the season. Do you remember that? Is this a memory that still stays with you? Yes, I remember it like really vividly because they had like a hundred stairs for us to walk up every time and it was just a lot of people in one of the biggest arenas because I was a freshman and I never had experienced anything like that. So it was just a really great experience. What was that freshman year experience like for you? Everybody's freshman year is different when they first come to Wofford. How was it for you? Well, preseason was very rough because I wasn't mentally or physically prepared for what I had in store. I just knew that I love basketball and I would love being here, but at first it was difficult. But with the help of my teammates, it just really made it me comfortable with everything. And you say the help of your teammates. One of your favorite things about Wofford, as you've stated before, is your team. Talk a little bit about, bit about your teammates and how they've been through you, been there for you through your journey at Wofford. My teammates are all amazing. I've had like about 40 through the um, four years, and they're just great individuals. And everybody's just different, and everybody brings different things to the team and different things to my life. And I just really appreciate all of them, and I treat them like sisters. And there's some other seniors graduating with you. How sad is it going to be to leave them on graduation day in May? Oh, it's going to be really sad. I love those girls so much. They're more like my sisters. I couldn't have done this without them. We've laughed together. We've cried together. We've done basically everything imaginable together these last four years. And even last summer, the last day we were here, we all cried because two of them, Chanel and Jordan, were going abroad. And um, me and Ashton don't live too far away, but we were just we all knew that we weren't going to be together and that we didn't go to summer school, so we just cried and bawled. <laughs> Over the four years, think of what would be your favorite memory with that team than those four other four other girls that you came in with? I would definitely say this year. This year was the best year by far, and even though I'm not playing, it was just like a great experience, and I love the girls, and being more of a leader, vocal leader, and just being with them was awesome, and I love everybody on this team. Now graduation, with graduation approaching, what's the future look like for you? Where are you headed after Wofford? Well, I tend, to, um, I tend to go to graduate school and become a GA somewhere. I have already started applying, so hopefully that will go well with um, marketing or something like that. And what is the thing that you think you're going to miss most about Wofford? My teammates. Just my teammates being here with them every day, going through highs and lows with them every day and being able to talk about it and being able to like discuss what we're going through and help each other out will be something that I can't. No. Well, thanks, Khadija. Oh, thank you.